Hey folks, continuing on with No Man's Sky, and uh, last time we made the Holy Staff, and I forgot to test it out. So we're gonna test it on some free-range creatures. Ha <laughs> ha, whoa! I love it. I love it. I feel like some sci-fi magician, or a mage. A magician? <laughs> yeah, I do card tricks too. Oh, he won't die. I'm torturing this creature. Did I scan him? Oh, that was a new creature. Oops, sorry little guy. All right, so uh, we finished making the staff, but we haven't finished the quest line. So I'm gonna go over and talk to this guy here. Oops, you're not the guy. Oops. Well, while I'm talking to him uh, on accident, let's get some words. Oh, this is the guy with the gun on his shoulder. Yeah. Well, let's do some, uh, I'm just skipping through because we've seen all this. I'm trying to learn a new word. Let's learn a mystery symbol. Where's my mystery symbol? Wow, I didn't learn anything from that guy. Okay, great. All right, so we're gonna continue the mission. Uh, such and such staff, this is an important such and such disruptor. I am such and such to be here to see these, to see this. A staff makes much creativity possible. Uh, something may wish to upgrade something. The auto phage pauses, their battered, corroded face stares directly into mine. They speak slowly and with gravity. If something say the something words, disruptor, something may something this staff with open something that were something before. Ask them to repeat that. <laughs> yeah, what? The auto phage looks uncomfortable. They make a strange rasping sound as though clearing their throat. Something me, Disruptor. I do not wish to voice the something of that entity. I'm not sure what he's talking about. Uh, if something say the correct word, something may also find this staff will open something that were, uh, that were something before. So I can use the staff to open something, but I don't know what, what he's saying. Um, something may know the entity already, that one the Corvax worships. Oh, he's probably talking about the Atlas. Request one last repetition. If you say the correct words, you may also find this staff will open doors that were hidden before. Oh, doors that were hidden before. Where have we seen a hidden door? I guess if it was hidden, you wouldn't have seen it. <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, what now? Let me, I'm gonna get in my ship because I'm uh, getting extreme heat damage. All right, what's next? Earn the head of the Voltaic Staff. So we did that mission. Is another piece gonna pop up? I think it wants me to go somewhere. Yeah, see it's linking up there. Uh, harmonic interface. Okay, I guess we'll fly over there. I wish that the missions would pop up a little quicker in this game. It's kind of annoying. Wait, where is it? I saw the symbol a second ago. Learn more about the autophage, complete prayers of the machine to proceed. Oh, so maybe we did finish that quest line? Oh, it disappeared now, yeah. Yeah, see that's weird, it just pops up and then it's gone. Okay. Uh, right, so... Firstly, we were doing They Who Returned, which is the, I guess, the parent autophage mission. And it told us to do audience with the autophage. We've just done that. We made our staff. Now we can do prayers of the machine. So let's find that. Research properties of Atlantidium. The construct claims that all electronic hearts will react to the presence of Atlantidium. Search for co uh, computing units and observe their responses. Okay. So how do I search for those? Like this? Present Atlantidium to an electronic heart and note its response. Electronic heart. What is an electronic heart? I have a brain, salvaged glass, and radiant shards, and Atlantinium. But what about a heart? Okay, wait, it said to use it at a terminal, right? Okay, where's that little village? Did I fly too far away, really? What was that village I was just at? 
Oh, it's dark now. I can't see. I probably shouldn't have flown away. Okay, wait a minute. Let's, uh... I think it said to use one of those terminals. How about this? Let's get off this, uh, this planet here, because it's killing me. And, uh, wasn't there another planet in the system we wanted to go to? Let me double check. So we've been here. Um, okay. Nope, we've been to that one plenty of times. Wasn't there another planet in here? Is this a moon? Let's see what kind of moon that is. No, we've been to that moon too. Rocky moon. What's in this system that we haven't been to? So there's some sort of blue red planet. Okay, if I want to try to find that. Let me just go out into space so I can get a better view. And uh, while we're doing that, I guess we could charge up. Uh, where is it? Where's my forgetting things? Oh, I, I'm using the wrong multi-tool. That's why. Okay. I <laughs> forgot I switched multi-tools. So my other one had that detector that you could put adlantinium in. And, uh, okay, is that a, one of the planets we haven't been to? Let's see what it's all about. Frostbound? That might have been the blue and red one. Okay. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Uh, and then what about that moon? Do we go to there? I'm just gonna check out that moon. If it's nothing, then we'll maybe we'll switch systems just for fun. Molten moon. Okay. Yeah. Let's find a new system. That'll be fun. And of course my hyperdrive has no fuel. Lovely. Let's go ahead and refill the hyperdrive. And we're just gonna pick another system because we're explorers, and that's what explorers do. I want to pick a uh, three-star one. Always three-star because I want a better chance of finding an A or an S-class ship. We have a little bit more money now. Uh, that looks like a system we visited. If we visited it and we didn't buy a ship, that means I didn't find anything good there. All right, we will find a three-star. Just gotta be patient. Uh, by the way, uh, I think last time I talked about three stars and economy, so um, yes, I'm aware there are filters. Last time we used the filter to switch to an economy system to look for a specific color. I'm not looking for any specific color right now. Oh, I found one. Okay. There's a three star. Uh, so it didn't really matter what economy color it was for my purposes currently, so that's why I wasn't switching to that filter. This is strictly just to get a new fresh system because I think it's boring to constantly go to the same planets. I mean, this is 18 quintillion. Like it's, it's in the DNA of the game to go to new systems and check out new stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, Quagmire planet, aggressive sentinels. No, thank you. Wow, this one has a lot of rings. Acrid planet. How about that green one over there? Paradise. Okay, we found it. We found it folks. Green paradise planet. Once we get there, let's see. I think I should switch my... Oh, you know what? Can I build that scanner into my staff? Because I feel like I want to keep using the staff. All right. Yeah, we'll build it into the staff. Where is it? Uh, could I only build it once? Or am I blind? Why can't I do it? Or was it a starship thing? I can't remember now if it was... No, we didn't need a starship. It was definitely... Oh, it's right here. Oh, duh. Okay, polyphonic core is in the staff. Okay. Why don't they let you build it again? Oh, that's obvious because it's already installed. The... So we're gonna power this thing up. I think we're in the atmosphere now. Let's check out this green paradise planet. Yeah, that's obvious. It was already installed. That's why I couldn't install it again. <laughs> this is not the prettiest green paradise planet, but we've got bubbles. Bubbles are fun. All right, let's go in and use our, what am I doing? Use our scanner. Okay. 
Where is it? All right, how close are we? 23 minutes flying. Well, you know what we gotta do. <laughs> so I, I, if I didn't misread it, I think it said to go to one of the terminals. So that's why we're looking for it. Um, if this fails, I'm not sure what to do. I might have to look it up. We're looking for the heart, electronic heart. I would have assumed to the Corvax, isn't the heart the Corvax or the uh, the Atlas? Or is that like their brain uh, central location? Ooh, look at this uh, this cool rainbow. All right, ten seconds. We'll land. We'll check to see if we can talk to that machine. And um, thank you guys for watching and commenting. One of you mentioned that. You can buy other parts at that uh, terminal. And I guess I, uh, before I knew what I was looking at, I, we did look at those parts and we saw that you needed a special currency to get, which I didn't know how to get. So I'm just gonna go ahead and summon these people. But while we're here, we can always upgrade our inventory. Any opportunity I get to do that, you know I'm gonna do that. Let's see if I have the right parts. Antimatter housing and carbon nanotubes. I think I had some in my ship, but it looks like I walked too far away. So, can't make. <laughs> Hold on, let me summon the ship. I think I got materials on the ship. I should have parked closer. I just didn't want to park on their village, you know? God, it looks so cool with the staff. Look, it's awesome. Finally looking cool in No Man's Sky. Okay, so we still need to make the antimatter housing, and that needed ferrite dust, so... Um, let's see, let's get some ferrite dust there. And let's get some there. I don't know how much I need, let's check. How much more? Ferrite dust. Okay. I think there's some rock there. This is all worth it, folks. <laughs> More inventory is never a bad thing. That's cobalt. Did I get my ferrite dust? Yeah, I think I did. Okay. Antimatter housing. And here we go. Inventory slot. Got it. Okay, back to business. I don't know if I have to switch missions. Yeah, see, why did I switch to drop pod mission? I guess because I interacted with it. Okay, here we go. So let's talk to the machine. We need to figure out what the heart is. Void motes, that was that currency I didn't understand. So void motes, let's check out what you can get. Repair kits. Rebuilt exosuit module. I guess salvaged upgrade for exosuit. Begin upgrade installation. Are these the parts? These must be the parts that uh, you guys were talking about. Um, yeah, okay, that looks right. Casing, head unit. So you could buy these and make a different looking staff, I guess. 999 uh, void motes, which I still haven't figured out what those are. But maybe we'll get to that in the mission. Uh, facial unit. Is that going to be maybe something um, cosmetic for your outfit? Yeah, because there's a hood down here too. Uh, reclaimed head. Oh, yeah, that looks like the head of a staff. Radiant bore. Okay, yeah, these are looking like staff parts. Okay. I guess I didn't look very carefully last time. Um, all right. So what about the heart? <laughs> I'm gonna reread that, that mission. Research properties of Atlantidium. The construct claims that all electronic hearts will reach or react to the presence of Atlantidium. Search for computing units and observe their responses. Okay, do I have to like shoot at it? <laughs> I feel silly trying to figure this out. It's probably something obvious. Let me look in my staff. Is there something in there that if I put Atlantidium in loom damage, 
Why does my new staff have damage? I just built it. Corrupt module, loom damage, rusted power core. This is just a uh, cannon. These are mining weapons. Huh. I've already used this to find this base. Yeah, I'm apparently I'm not smart enough to figure this out. So I'm going to go ahead and pause and uh, I'm going to cheat. So I'll be right back. All right, so apparently it has something to do with the anomaly. So I don't know. Is the anomaly considered the heart? I know we need to use the staff to open doors. So I don't remember uh, a door on the anomaly that couldn't be opened before. There was one that we opened up, and I think that was where we reset the simulator for... Oh, no, wait. That's when we... Uh, did we kill Artemis? I forgot. We did something in there. So maybe it's that same door. I don't know. All right, we're about to find out. And then uh, while we're here, we can upgrade our inventory a second time in the system. There might be some recipes we want to get. Oh, you know what? I'm not sure I have the uh, materials. Depends on the recipe. I guess if you're con buying construction stuff, you need the salvaged parts. Uh, I think I used them all because I've been working on a secret base that I haven't shown you guys yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm nearing ready to unveil it. All right, did it, did it select the mission? Okay, we're still on the same mission. There it is, yeah. Horvax simulation CPU, okay. All right, so that's that's probably the terminal. I thought it wanted like a, I don't know, one of the terminals we were just at, so. I wasn't smart enough to figure it out, but we're gonna finish it. And I think that is the same room. I'm pretty sure we went in there and we, we decided not to let, I think, was it Artemis? Mixing up their names. Didn't we decide not to let Artemis um, pretend to think it was alive? Anyway, here we go. Oh, yeah, it's the same simulation terminal. Okay. Not an entity. Authorization required secondary simulation running. The machine is ancient and powerful, a relic of a world long since destroyed. The salvaged hardware has been restored to near pristine condition. The software lovingly maintained. Reveal the Atlantidium. Searching secondary simulation. How many simulations is this running? Searching. Match found. Planetary body identified. Ooh. Lots of ones and zeros. Okay. So we did that. And uh, it seems like a good opportunity for a photo op. How about that? Oh no, what happened to my staff? It took my staff away. Oh, because you're not supposed to have a weapon in here. That's why. That's kind of lame. Well, anyway, I take the picture. <laughs> what? I got my staff back. Let me try that again. So if you go to take a picture, your staff disappears? Why did that happen? That that made no sense. Whatever. <laughs> I don't I don't understand why when you take a picture your staff is gone. So you're not supposed to have weapons in here, but I guess the staff is uh, an exception. And what's part of the mission now? The construct claims that all electronic hearts will react to the presence of Atlantinium. We we did search for the computing unit. Is there another one? Maybe there's a computing unit on the space station. All right, well, we said while we're here, we're gonna upgrade our inventory. I'm just gonna do that real quick and then fly over to the space station, which we can upgrade our inventory again. I'm not sure what the limit is to your inventory slots. I'm gonna put one here in um, tech, in case there's some tech item I wanna make. And so we're just checking again. So we've still got the mission selected. Space and planetary surfaces. Let's 
scan for adlantinium sensitive processors from space okay so it wants us to fly into space all right we can do that i guess we'll fly into space we'll scan and uh hopefully find a spot and i haven't forgotten to go to the space station and check for ships and the bounty board and all that i just wanted to continue on with the uh, mission a little bit first all right, so we'll give a good scan. Electronic processing unit detected. Perfect. Where is it detected? Which planet was this one? I think I lined up with the space station. Station authority? Well, hopefully I don't have any contraband. I don't know if I do, actually. Clear to proceed. All right, thank you for protecting me somehow <laughs> I guess they're protecting the rest of the the system from me there's not much here anyway <laughs> these planets look pretty sweet wow look I got four planets in the same view which one is that let's give it a quick scan I'm always interested quagmire quagmire who else but Quagmire? Acrid Planet and what was the other one? We didn't scan that one. Gamma Intensive with an Aggressive Sentinels. No thanks. Where we're going has high Sentinel activity, but so long as I don't piss them off, I guess I'm going to be okay. Dark side of the planet. I like going to the light side of the planet. Sometimes planets look cooler at night. Like if you've got uh, bioluminescent plants, like on our purple paradise planet. There we go. And got a landing pod for us, perfect. Wow, just looking at that plant over there. It's got like a, what is that coming out of it? That's kind of neat, can I scan that? I guess I can scan the plant. Sorry, I know I'm getting distracted easily, but when you see cool looking stuff, you want to go check it out. This feels like it's an underwater planet, but not underwater. Like, I don't know, just the way this looks seems like something you would find under the sea. <laughs> oh, that is cool. I want to take a picture of that. Yeah. Let's go up a little bit. What I like about the camera is you can change the time of day. So during the day, it looks red here. And then we'll keep going. For a moment, it looks blue, and then it turns to night. What's the dead of night? I don't know, I like it. <laughs> I think that's pretty sweet. Take the picture. I should have started taking pictures uh, earlier on in this series. All right, we got some animals here. I haven't checked how many yet. Seems like a good amount though. I'm seeing at least four or five different ones walking around. I think I just scanned a plant. Come on out, buddy. Oh, he's shy. That was a tree. There's another tree. Okay, got him. <laughs> got birds. All right, any more red dots before I continue? Of course, new discoveries take priority. All right, I think we're good. Let's continue on with the mission. Oh, okay, that's why the Sentinels are here. Oh my God, my staff is weak. Uh-oh. Maybe I could I could have opened it up with my uh, starship. That's always a strategy. Well, at least when the Sentinels get in here and follow me, they don't do anything. And we got a first aid here, which don't need. Okay. Hopefully that alarm turns off. Alarms protest my intrusion, but the facility seems unattended. 
Its process is automated by an artificial intelligence. Unauthorized personnel detected. Please verify credentials to override alarm. Reveal Atlantidium. Verifying. Ver 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 verifying. Retrieving credentials. Ah, <laughs> there's a sentinel trying to scan me. Retrieving credentials. Uh, manufacturing protocol undefined. Executing. Excuse me. Execution failed. Execution failed. Execution failed. Is the alarm going to turn off? Doesn't seem to. Defeat or evade sentinel forces. Um. Does this thing have a terrain modifier? No, it doesn't. I was going to try to run away real quick and hide, <laughs> hide underground. All right, let's see if we can build one. Here we go. Terrain manipulator. We need two carbon nanotubes. Should be able to make that. I always have a lot of carbon. Okay. Carbon nanotubes. Okay, great. This is in case I can't run away quick enough. At least I could dig underground. All right, let's go. Ah, out of my way. Ooh, look at that guy. I already scanned him. Even when I'm trying to get away, I get distracted. All right, we're just gonna dig. Hopefully we can dig in a certain pattern where they won't follow us. I don't think they detected me. Am I not far enough away? Oh, I broke it. Look. Oh my god. It's like a red lightsaber. I broke the game. <laughs> Look at this. I am Darth Tanks. Oh man. That's a cooler looking lightsaber than Kylo Ren's. Oh, shots fired, huh? Right, I'm trying to get away. It said I could evade or destroy them. I mean, how far away do I need to get? Oh, my lightsaber's gone. Seriously, like, how far away do I have to get? Maybe I could summon my ship here and fly away. Sometimes it glitches out like this, and if you fly away, they're not going to follow you. We're going to have to figure that out. Let's see. Summon my ship. Why can't I not summon my ship? Cannot summon in combat. Oh, no. Well, wait, can I fight it? Let me see. I got a bolt caster. All right. They're kind of weak, but I don't know if these are just completely story driven uh, sentinels or ones that are going to call for backup. Oh, they're dying pretty quick. I shouldn't have ran away like a coward. Let's kill that little one. I think he's a healer. Got him. Reloading. Got him. Ha, he can't heal him now. Maybe I can heal myself. All right, how many more we got? One more. I'm not normally this cowardly. It's just, I didn't know if the staff could take it. It looks like it can. And what, are you the last guy? You're the last one. Okay, wait, I'm pretty sure I evaded them, but it says I'm still in combat. Are there more? Scan that guy. Oh, there's more over there. Okay. So not all of them followed me. I guess I got to go back and kill those guys. Where are they? Oh, they're by the... They didn't even bother looking for me. <laughs> they're like, this guy's not worth our trouble. Just another traveler. Flying around. Are they, oh, are they still in the building? I think they're still inside. Oh, then they're trapped in there because I can shoot them, but they can't shoot me. You guys are done. You should have left well enough alone, boys. Hopefully this ends the sentinels. No, it called more. Now I'm a level three. This is what I was afraid of. Gosh darn it. 
So uh, maybe I had to fight that first set. Oh, come on. <laughs> ah, come on. Get away. My jetpack sucks. <laughs> Are they, maybe they could see me. It's supposed to tell them that they can't see me. I'm going to try going underground again. This didn't work last time, but maybe it'll work this time. In fact, let's seal the hole. They cannot get in here. Alright, there's no way they can find me. Now are they going to go away? Oh, I didn't mean to hit restore. That's a good way to glitch out. How are they still looking for me? This is crazy. And I can't even summon the ship because I'm in combat. All right. I think before I remember getting in the ship, either stopped them searching or it summoned their ship. And then when I landed again, it summoned the unglitched sentinel. So I might have to do that. Let's see. I'm still at a three. Probably gonna summon their ships. Let me wait for that to happen and then I'll land. They didn't summon their ships. Okay, let's go into space. Maybe that'll desummon them. See, look, defeat or evade. I tried both of those. We're still a one. We're still a one rating. This is insane. All right, well, whatever. It's glitched. Um, <laughs> so long as the sentinels aren't chasing me into space. I just wanted to quickly go back to the uh, space station, upgrade the inventory. I guess I don't have much time to do a bounty, even if we found one, but maybe for next time. Oh, and this part of the mission is to come here. That's right. Let me, ch let me upgrade my inventory first. That's right, there was a terminal back there. That's where we turn in our uh, fake credentials during the pirate mission. We killed 80 sentinels. Doesn't seem like a whole lot. Uh, oh, wow, look at that. It's an upgraded uh, slot for tech. I'm glad I unveiled it. Let's get a couple more tech slots. All right, remember, we're on the lookout for any cool looking ships. That's not terrible, but I don't like that, like, round nose on it. Folks, I get really picky with my ships, but it's okay. With a game with this vast amount of variety, I think it's okay to get picky. That one's okay. It's an A-class. 13 million. No, never mind. I don't know. It looks... It doesn't look menacing. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's the nose. <laughs> it just looks like he's... He, he kind of reminds me of a mosquito, right? He's like annoying, but not a menace. If I'm going to be uh, flying around in a fighter, I want to be a menace. So I don't like those. So let's just go talk to this terminal real quick. Dang, those sentinels are really annoying. Life support system stable. Commercial monitoring online. Flight path management 84% efficient. Atlas, Aaron... Surveillance uplink functional. Reveal Atlantidium. Geological material detected. Analyzing. Planetary coordinates not indexed. Solar system not indexed. Unable to establish trade link. Unable to plot flight path. So, okay. What is it doing? Is it looking for coordinates? It seems like it found a place, but it wouldn't teach me how to get there. Present Atlantinium to an electronic heart and note its response. It wants me to find another one of those terminals, uh, which we're going to do next time. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Bye.